must have heard about questions like define cap theorem or when would you choose consistency over availability or is ca possible in a cap theorem and so many more questions like that uh, which are asked to people in interviews and cap theorem this is such a topic it is such it is such important topic that it has actually got me in uh, a, for a company because uh, we had a discussion over cap theorem for over 30 minutes so today we are going to learn about only cap before moving on to cap theorem i want to make sure that all of us understand the meaning of cap first and then we are going to move towards cap theorem so let's get started let's start to understand these three concepts using a story let's say you have some time on side uh, during lockdown and you decided to start a cloud kitchen and for your cloud kitchen you didn't do anything fancy you just started something from your home you gave your number out gave your whatsapp number out you're uh, accepting orders and you're delivering the orders right so leave all the logistics of the making of the uh, preparation of the food and delivering of the food aside let's just focus on accepting the orders part so let's say it's very simple right now you have one particular number something like this and on that number you're accepting orders let's say you're accepting 10 orders per day what you have to do is whenever an order comes in you note down an order number you note down the customer id or the customer name against that order number and then once the order is ready you dispatch it in the meantime if that person calls you to get an update on the order you check in your notebook you check the number of the order and the customer name and you tell that customer whether his order is ready or not now let's suppose you are getting 10 orders per day or 20 orders per day this is manageable now your business grows and it becomes say 200 orders per day and it is not possible for you to handle all these 200 calls alone so what do you do you seek help from a friend or you take a business partner and then that business partner is also taking orders while you are taking orders so now that makes two of you you have a notebook let's call you person foo and your partner let's call him or her bar for now so now you are taking orders and your partner is also taking orders and you have order inventory your partner has order inventory and your business is running successfully and you're making a lot of money great everything sounds great up till here one day you receive a call and you say and and the customer says my order id is 120 you try to look in your notebook for that day but you don't find an order 120 and you say sorry we don't have an order like this but the customer says no i just placed an order how can you not have my order and then you realize that that order must have been accepted by your partner but since both of you guys are using the same phone number and internally the calls are routed the orders that are going to your partner you have no idea about so this is a problem the state of your system the state of the orders of your system becomes inconsistent you have 150 orders for the day your partner has 100 orders for the day but you don't know the 100 orders of the partner and the partner doesn't know the 150 orders that you have if similar situation occurs that someone calls for an inquiry uh, which is one of your orders and the call gets routed to your partner because you are busy at that time your partner would also have no idea about that order this is inconsistency and what cap theorem talks about this c here is consistency you have to have consistency in your system otherwise you're going to give a bad customer experience now you have to figure out some way to have consistency between you and your partner so what do you do you decide that whenever a call comes to you you are going to note down that order and you're also going to tell your partner to note down the same order the order comes 200 and some customer name you tell your partner that please note down this order in your book as well and your partner also notes down the same order now whenever the next call comes no matter wherever the call is routed to whether to you or to your partner since you are 
transferring your orders to each other before confirming the orders both of you have the same copies of the orders can you recall something from the replication video this is replication your partner has data you have data and you are in a sync you are replicating the data synchronously once you get an order you send the order to your partner as well once he confirms or he or she confirms that they have the copy then only you tell the customer that their order has been placed so this is how you maintain consistency and this is the consistency that cap theorem talks about okay after fixing the consistency problem let's say one day your partner falls sick and doesn't show up that day you won't be able to handle as many orders as you were handling earlier like both of you were handling let's say 200 orders per day so 400 orders now all those 400 orders are going to come to you because your partner is not receiving the calls what would happen in that case either you have to work overtime and you have to receive those 400 orders those 400 calls or you won't be able to do that you wouldn't you would be able to say receive only 200 orders and declare that day that okay we are closing off now we are not accepting any more orders what do you call this your service is not available even though you are present to take the calls but not as much remember throughput the throughput for your system is not as high when your partner is also available when your partner was there 400 orders per day was your throughput and now it's only 200 or maybe 300 because you are alone today if you have more number of partners say 2 3 4 then the overall availability of your system increases because let's say you have a third partner okay now if first partner fall sick or you fall sick or you or you cannot show up for some reason you have two more so at least your system or your whole service is available to some extent this is the property that is called availability in cap theorem you must have heard of this term highly available systems right that that term highly available systems means how much request or how much throughput your system can sustain how much how available that system is let's say you are still two or three partners but the volume of your orders grows to 1000 orders per day or 5000 orders per day are three partners or three people who can attend the calls enough to handle those requests if yes that means your system is highly available if no that means your system is not highly available because not everyone who is calling is getting the request fulfilled for that what you do you increase the number of partners now let's say you have 10 partners then your system becomes highly available every partner can take 200 orders per day and you can scale up to 2000 orders but what would happen to the consistency now all these 10 partners would have to propagate the information and reach a consensus among them in order or in order to make the system consistent but is it possible to have consistency and availability at the same time think about it for now for this part of the video let's say it is possible to have a system which is consistent and available and to make the example simpler let's say we have only two partners right now they are consistent they are available nobody is falling sick both of them are uh, available all the time and they are always uh, passing the information to each other in order to keep the data consistent now suppose you have a fight with your partner now even though both of you are receiving the orders both of you are capable to transfer the orders to each other so that your data so that your system remains in a consistent state but the communication channel between you two broke for some reason so you are not talking to bar bar is not talking to foo and now even the orders are coming into the system the system overall is losing consistency this is called partitioning the two partners were linked by a communication channel that communication channel was responsible of handling consistency of the system and now this that communication channel has broken so this phenomena is called partition and if you can tolerate this partition and even though this partition happens you are able to make your system available and consistent then that is called partition tolerance but the question is 
if you are tolerating a partition would you be able to give consistency and availability in the system once again think about it let's say we have to be available while also supporting partition tolerance okay so foo and bar cannot talk to each other but still we have to keep the system available we have to keep the system re keep receiving orders and processing orders in that case what would happen both of them would be able to receive the calls both of them would be able to register register the orders but the orders the data of the orders wouldn't be consistent if again someone calls bar with an order id which fu has written down and since fu was not able to communicate with the bar bar would say i don't know about this order and hence inconsistency so then what do you have your system is available your system is able to tolerate partition but it is not consistent now let's say you want to say no i do not want customers to have a bad experience i want my system to be in a consistent state even though uh, i have to support partition tolerance how can you do that one of you have to stop taking orders in that case when fu and bar are not talking to each other there is a partitioning this system is closed down this uh, to this bar no more request will go to bar on all the request would come to foo and since foo is the only one who is receiving the request there would be consistency in data but then what would happen the system is not highly available because all the calls that could have been handled by bar are now dropping or taking a lot of time so then your system could only support c or p and it is not as available as it was earlier the key here is if partitioning happened and you want to tolerate that partition even after that partition you want to keep serving the customers it looks like you have to sacrifice consistency or you you have to sacrifice availability you can have only one of them this is a part of cap theorem the rest of the part i would like to talk about in the next video before that now i want to talk about all these three properties in terms of systems in context of distributed systems be it distributed databases or cache or application instances and so on and so forth i am not going into those details right now let's let's take example of distributed databases here there are two machines which we talked about in the replication video as well these two machines have some data x x if this data has to be consistent these two machines have to talk and synchronize over the data that's how they would be able to be in a consistent state if they are consistent and we have multiple replicas like this that means we have high availability of the system so we have consistency and we have av availability but what is partition tolerance in this case partition tolerance is if you think about it these two databases would be deployed on two different instances or two different hardware machines which would be connected over network now if the network link between these two fails the whole system is partitioned and now there are two subsets or two subsystems say a or b if both the systems are still running the request would be served and we would be in a highly available state because still the system or the dbs are responding to the reads or writes or the requests but since the communication channel between them is broken the data is not in a consistent state again just like i explained this example if we have to be consistent then we have to shut one of these subsets down we have to say okay we cannot uh, afford to be inconsistent to be serving inconsistent data and we will let go of availability and we will have consistency so let there be less number of requests served but at least let it be consistent or we assume that a network partitioning never happens these two machines are always connected and then we have a consistent highly consistent and highly available system is that possible do you think it is possible let me know in comments whether it is possible for a system to be highly consistent and highly available at the same time or which combination you think of these three ca ap or cp or cap is possible okay so that was somewhat mysterious introduction to cap properties not cap theorem cap theorem is the second part of this video which we are going to discuss where we will 
implement or apply the concepts that we have learned today and understand what gap theorem entails what does it say on paper and how does it play out in the real world scenarios how is it different in practical applications than what is given in the theorem or in the paper that has been published which uh, describes cap theorem i have tried to keep this video a little bit intriguing by leaving some questions on to you that doesn't mean that i don't want to answer those questions i just want you to develop a thought process and think about systems a little bit more i'm always happy to answer questions in the comments so if you have any doubt in this video or any questions related to cap theorem please feel free to ask them in comments and also whatever questions i have asked in the middle of the video feel free to answer those questions as well in comments and start a discussion in the next video we are going to talk about cap theorem in detail till then take care see you in the next video i actually read a lot of material on cap theorem and there is this blog post which explains it well i am linking that blog post along with some other resources do check them out as well in the description